Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime Scene Cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. She expired on the couch and wasn't found for two weeks. And she was found by the actual guy that has been delivering her food. He was the one who actually uh, reported her. Um, he could smell it coming from the house. The whole scenario here was, you know, kind of living living on a certain spot in the couch and that's where she did everything including go to the bathroom and also to pass away well so it's almost like a praying area back here i don't know we could get into some spirits or something this house is about i think ed said just under 600 square feet um, i had the client reached out to me from california and she had actually rented this house as a favor to a friend whose sister needed a place to stay and pretty much vouched for her said she was you know good person she discovered all this said i had no idea my sister lived this way which is pretty universal you know hoarders are you know they're pretty good at hiding this stuff from from people i think the unfortunate thing is out of the goodness of her heart you know she rented this place thought she was really helping this woman out um, had a caseworker that was coming and supposedly checking on her but she expired on the couch and wasn't found for two weeks um, and she was found by the actual guy that has been delivering her food. He was the one who actually uh, reported her. Um, he could smell it coming from the house. And uh, once uh, my client was notified of what had happened and she had a friend come over here and uh, of course she didn't know any of this. So her friend comes over, opens the door and is like, oh my God, you know, only stayed in there just long enough to take about three or four pictures. Uh, so when she reached out to me, we were actually um, on a list of companies to call that the Sarasota Sheriff's Department had given her. And uh, we were the actual second uh, company that she had called. Um, she called one of, our, one of our competitors first and uh, couldn't believe the price, said he was very gruff. When I spoke to her and she explained to me the situation, you know, I felt compelled to you know come and check it out for her since she's in california and i'm a california transplant here in florida i felt a kinship with her so immediately i was like what can i do to help you the family of the deceased was not being forthcoming with her um you know there's a kia car out here there's a, some u-haul trailers out here she just didn't know how she was going to pay for all of this you know it's it's not cheap and she definitely wasn't a, a, expecting this <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, God. Now we know what she's been doing. All right, you ready? Big, big flies that come with a decomp. We don't even know what's behind here yet. So I don't know if there's a bed or if it's all just boxes, but we couldn't even see over it to know what's in there. Bonus room. That's bonus room, yeah. <laughs> Turn that into the FBI, your international spy, I found your burner phone. Oh yeah, so we're, we're creating this whole story here with all the stuff that we find. We found wigs and burner phones and like secret computers and things hidden. So we're like, this is like, she's like an FBI spy or something. <laughs> and as usual, ironically, we find tons of cleaning supplies never opened. This is so classic. So this is our donation pile here. Um, we're fortunate enough to uh, have uh, a plenty nursing homes and facilities that can benefit from um, a lot of the uh, products that uh, she acquired. So we're going to be finding a place to donate these two later today. What's that thing? Oh, baby. That baby yeah. right there. It's like gold. Yeah. I tried some of those cheese puffs, they taste like... You did! <laughs> they taste like generic ones, I'm so. sorry, I don't believe that for a minute. <laughs> they taste kind of like those Idahoian potatoes. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, there it is. It's a, some kind of a pump, huh? 
sequential circulator. Sorry if we wrap that around you, Evan, plug it in and see what happens. <laughs> you know, I had to work with the homeowner um, a little bit and be a little creative with the financing, but you know, we get it. You're not expecting a big bill like this. And uh, you know, she says, even though you guys were um, a little more expensive, she goes, your, your customer care and your, you know, being sympathetic to my situation, being out here and being willing to go to the house, she goes, I think you've earned my business. So this is where we are today, uh, probably a month in the making, um, but at least, you know, the body had been removed and there's very little bio here that was left behind. So we were pretty fortunate with that as well. There's a, a lot of things here that um, since the family has basically walked away from this is the homeowner has acquired all of her possessions and um, she's got a lot of stuff in here that she can either donate um, and uh, sell and recoup some of the costs um, for us so she's kind of happy about that so I'm willing to do that for her and the other company just wanted to come and do a complete trash out you know quick and dirty get out you know but here we're taking our time you know to do this for her so She's very happy. So we broke through this door so we could have uh, really, until we come in this morning, the only way you could get in and out was one little path through this door over here. This was all ported. Uh, we've been cleaning up the outside as well. Yeah. So we've been here, uh, you know, probably about an hour's worth of work to clear this yeah. out so you can walk a little bit more. But uh, basically, this was piled up and that's where she pretty much lived, right there. Uh, very sad. I don't know that she used the bathroom or anything. There was, uh, uh, we found you know, hundreds and hundreds of these uh, PT pads all over. The, the good news is from the bio cleanup, a lot of that went on to these pads. So, uh, and there was a cushion on top of that. So pretty much everything got caught before it even got to the material uh, on the couch where she was where she was sitting, so. You should open up those cabinets and show what the cabinet in the refrigerator looks like. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> right? Well, it's not that bad. It's not. I like this, like, hardly anything in there. It's clean. It's got some nice puzzles. Puzzle, puzzle, puzzle. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it surprised? I was like, woo -hoo, all right. Don't have to clean that out. That's shocking. This is cleaner than my freezer. Um, I feel like deja vu, like I've already done this pile. Same fruit, same fly traps. <laughs> oh my gosh, this keeps repeating itself. Well, you know, you know what we learned from the Lincoln uh, Norfolk Myers hoard is that, you know, hey, I can't find that. I know I got one, but I'll just go buy another. Yeah. And, you know, so we find what, three, four, or five of the same thing. Yeah. And, and even still now, you know, I thought I had another air conditioner. Well, I don't know. I'll go get another one. Yeah. <laughs> she had uh, quite a bit of different types, of, judging by all the different types of medications and ointments, doctor's appointments. She wasn't in the best of health. And apparently she had mentioned to a friend that she wasn't feeling well. And he said, you should call 911. And she didn't want to do it. So probably because she didn't want them to come in and find this. And so it was shortly after that, that even the neighbors had started to notice maybe two weeks that her car hadn't moved and they thought that was kind of suspicious. The neighbor came over and was talking to me and said that um, there had been a bobcat um, in the area. And uh, he said he was just wondering if it, he wasn't smelling what had happened in here and came to investigate. Because he said when his bathroom window was open that he could faintly smell it when the wind would blow. And he's just kind of across the street. So I believe him. So she, she was probably in here a, a couple of weeks before she was actually found. There's like a whole Fire box works. full of these rolls of something. some shit. I don't know. For some reason, decided to store it outside. Oh, wow. Oh, it's tight. It's a tight. Uh, for like a printing press, a type set. Yeah, well, I don't know what this is. No, that's not a printing like press, but. It's like something you have in school, right? Where it's a projector. Some kind of projector. From... So this is brand new. The chair's on the table. The sewing machine's brand new, still in the box. Oh, man, the firm. Sculpting stick. <laughs> brand new table. The stepper to go with the sculpting bar. Ah. Yeah. 
Yeah, they're not too far away from the snake family. Mm. Oh, it is. Part work. Look at that. Mm. Some type of certified Thomas Kincaid. Good place to keep it out here in the woods. In the outside under a tarp. Look at that baby. Yeah, I mean, it's not like just a regular cheap globe. It's Sinatra. Sinatra. Treasure. That's a saw, right? Or is that still some fancy no. kind of machine, huh? Looks like some kind of press, some old school ah, press. That's no good. Yeah. Acoustic or electric? I say acoustic. Acoustic. I was saying acoustic. Tell by the shape of it. Oh. Well, then I'm not so clever, am I? No. <laughs> oh, it's very pretty. I, I don't know anything about guitar set on hook. Yeah, there's some rest spots. Yeah. Oh, Esteban. Can do a guitar smash. Yeah. Oh, that's true, huh? <laughs> donuts. Ooh, big donuts. Donuts. Oh, maybe these are like the deep fat fryers for the donuts and stuff. Ooh, this is like a salsa chopper. She must have been to a fair or something. <laughs> I think that's where you buy this kind of stuff. The reason why I know that is because <laughs> I was a victim too. Reformed shopaholic? No, just a sucker. I'm a sucker for, as seen on TV, and then when you go to the fair, all these little booths that they set up and everything, I always want like one of everything. Oh, uh, see, here's another thing I know she got suckered into at the fair. I think it's a way that you can like dice things, maybe uh, peel things. Hey, look, there's a seahorse on the... Uh... I know, I noticed that earlier. <laughs> I thought there was something dead on the toilet seat. It's, a, too, I know. it's <laughs> an embedded seahorse. There's like an open area back there. That's encouraging. Yeah. Empty boxes. Creepy little clown to uh, greet you. Well, so it's almost like a praying area yeah. back here. I don't know. We, we could get into some spirits or something. I don't know what's going on back here. We'll have, to send, we'll have to send Bobby back in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably scare the spirits. <laughs> Man, this baby was deluxe back in the day. Can keep messages for each other on the radio on it. Hey, you throw your, you know, throw your little uh, favorite band in there on cassette oh, and play in the whole house. Yeah, a couple speakers out there. Look at that. Turn the bass up. Be thumping the roof. <laughs> Did you miss? You missed it. I um, earthed a 32-inch TV still in the box. Wow. Yeah, and then here's like this little sound bar that went to it. That's cool. You can maybe we'll donate this since it's Christmas, but look at that fella hiding in there. Oh boy. See him? Yeah. What the hell is that? It's some big old type of cockroach. See him out here if he starts crawling up you we know he's alive. More puzzles! Did you find any puzzles out there that you wanted, Evan? Because we're going to donate them. They're going. There's probably about four boxes that looks with this material right here. All diapers and pee pee pads and stuff like that. Yep. It's all going to donation for Humane Society. The power, the driving force. Anthony Robbins. Here's a passport. 1964. So interesting, you know, when you think about it, I just found her grandmother's stuff. I, I'm assuming it's her grandmother's, maybe even her great-grandmother's. 1964, no, that had to have been her grandmother. Um, and right as you found it, been... the, the lights and the fan came on. Yeah, yeah, and I was just saying she has a sister in Texas. Wonder if she would be interested in this. Oh. And then all the lights come on and the ceiling fan come on. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I guess I got my answer. I'm going to go into jewelry. We are going to the donation center. Uh, we have, <laughs> we're probably going to scare these folks when we get there. We have quite a load and we have almost as much back at the house as well. So uh, a lot of good household items and a lot of these items are still in the packages. Uh, but I also have a lot of items that were for the uh, Humane Society, which um, I'm not sure how that's going to work out. I don't think Goodwill will take those, so we'll, we'll have to figure that out. Ooh. Is this all stuff family's going to look through, or oh, this is all more donation? It's stuff. Our, it's more donation stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's really, it's I think a majority of it's donation stuff.
Again? Nice. <laughs> I pulled out oh, the big socks did. today, man. <laughs> and I'm going into these awards. This is Robinson. Wow. <laughs> Hey everyone, uh, Ed and Krissa, uh, Spalding Decon, Southwest Florida. Um, today we are here in Inglewood, mm -hmm. and uh, this is an interesting one. This is a uh, bio horde combination. We're on a wrap. Um, things went pretty well. Yeah. It's um, yeah. you know I think we're we're going to be back. Uh, there's some more work that needs done here from a deep clean scenario. I think the the game here is going to be uh, to. Uh, ultimately get the property ready uh, to you know go back into the rental um, scenario well the donation so we filled we filled this up there's there's probably a whole nother van load that we have inside uh, for for donations mm -hmm. but uh, a lot of items a lot of good items a lot of new items still in the uh, you know still in the package and the wrapper in the box uh, that type of thing kind of an interesting trip to the donation center boy you know when you when you come late in the day and and you got a whole van load, <laughs> 20, 25 boxes yeah. or so, uh, it wasn't necessarily uh, the most exciting moment for for uh, the the intake person. But uh, but anyway, it worked out pretty well. And uh, so yeah, we'll we'll be back. Yeah. You know, we got more to more to do and more, more donations. Do. We'll see you next time. Yeah. Well, thanks for spending the day with us. Yeah, we enjoyed right. it. We always love having you. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.